This training session was the antithesis to the modern day Instagram workout simply because you can't be just staring at your phone and you're not lifting heavy enough weights to look cool. What'd you think about the workout? I mean, I mean hold on. And I'm embarrassed to stand next to this man after that pump. I think I'm gonna have to go do something else. A lot of reps, very simple. At the same time, very humbling. No time to play on your cell phone either. In the 1960s, despite the trends, there was one holdout from the old era that believed you had to look and perform the part. This is the legendary Chuck Sipes. Chuck had some very unconventional training philosophies, but his muscularity was ahead of his time, and his strength is world-class in powerlifting then and even now. Growing up, Chuck dreamed of glory on the gridiron. His dreams were shattered in high school when coaches told Chuck he was too small to make the football team. Einstein said, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Coincidentally, a teenage Chuck Sipes had Chuck Coker as a neighbor. Coker is most well known for being the brainchild behind Universal Fitness Equipment. The acquisition of knowledge from Coker, repeated trial and error, and unparalleled work ethic enabled Sykes to eventually bench press 570 pounds raw. Then the world record was 617 pounds by a man nearly 100 pounds heavier. In, dawn, in the dawn of Sipes' bodybuilding career, he worked 12-hour shifts as a lumberjack, then after work headed to the, straight to the gym to slaughter some pig iron. Later in life, Sipes went to work with the California Youth Authority, mentoring troubled youth and giving them a new purpose with physical culture and strength training. You're gonna go one rep, rest two minutes, 10 seconds, two, 10, basically all the way up to 10, all the way back down to one. So you're, I'll tell you how many reps, and we're gonna rest 10 minutes, but we're gonna make it real, like not to film. Like it's gonna be like okay. fast paced. So it's gonna be like totally opposite of the last one of it was heavy. Boom. Okay. Go. Two. You know, we brought you a lot of different approaches. So last time Jay came out as a little heavier of a workout. Different, I mean, because obviously to, to be your best, the, the 1990s played out muscle and fitness, three sets of 10 ain't gonna cut the mustard. Well, that's, there's a time and a place for everything. And this is a time for that high volume shock. Like if all you ever did, it was this, you probably wouldn't have great results. But if you're someone like this with a great strength base, you need to throw something in there a little different to totally shock your system. This is it for a lot of you guys that are like, you know, old, retired, kind of powerlifters and stuff that have been, you know, you know, lifting he huge weights your whole life and you're looking for something a little different. This would be a fun thing to try. A bodybuilder needs a total shock. It's been the only sort of power building. We're gonna get a good shock out of this. So there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. And this is definitely, this is definitely a potent weapon in your hypertrophy arsenal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, four, five, six. Today we're here to talk about the one ten one training system. Okay, so Chuck Sipes is known a lot like as sort of the quintessential power power builder. He trained really heavy, and he also did a lot of bodybuilding stuff. So he was a champion bodybuilder. And he's also um, even now, if he was if he was still alive, back in this was back in the the, the 1960s. He was he was bench pressing 570 pounds, weighing 220 raw. That was unheard of by guys that weighed 400 pounds back then. So he he did like he did all sorts of different training systems. We'll talk about some more of them later. But today we're gonna talk about the 1101. So it's sort of like a true pyramid. Okay, so what you do is you select a weight, and you do one rep rest 10 seconds, two reps, rest 10 seconds, three reps, rest 10 seconds, four reps, you go so on all the way up to 10. So you keep adding one rep until you get to 10, resting 10 seconds between each rep. That's the top of the pyramid. Then you go back down the pyramid, okay? So that's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a total of 100 repetitions when you, when you go all the way back down because you're only doing the 10 once, every other number you do twice, okay? so. You, you rest 10 seconds on the way down. So t you're at the top of the pyramid. You, you, so top of the mountain, 
we're going back to a valley. You go 10 reps, rest 10 seconds, nine, rest 10 seconds, eight, so on and so forth till you get all the way down to one rep. Okay, and how hard, how heavy do you start off with this? No one, you know, really has a great answer. So, I mean, it's just, it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error, but I would say you need to be like 40 for 50% of what you could max out at. And then as the workout goes on and as you fatigue, you probably you might have to lower it even more. So this is gonna be like, if you do four exercises for a box, so we, today we did arms, four exercises total. Each exercise consisted of 100 reps. You get about 40, 45 minutes if you're going hard. Start off with bench press with the chains. Then we went on to uh, fat bar bicep curls. Then we went on to um, the machine dips. And finally, we finished off with incline hammer curls. Just get a slight stretch at the bottom. Um, and then, so basically, we cover our bases with arms. So we got four exercises, 100 reps each, 400 reps. It's a hell of a it's a hell of a workout. So this is going to take. This is a lot of times, you know, we're talking about people that maybe don't have the cojones to go real heavy. This is this is a different type of cojones. This takes this very, very, very painful. And so a lot of people, I mean, besides being a, a different hypertrophy stimulus, if you've never trained this way before, obviously it can be, you know, if you're somebody that's go heavy, go home, you know, I eat like a power after a train, like a bodybuilder type of person, you're looking for a little, something to totally just, you know, ch change your paradigm. What's your paradigm? That's your perspective of the world as we see it. So if you want to change something here, this would be that abrupt change you might be looking for. For the bodybuilder always going heavy, you know, this is that change you might be looking for. For somebody who just wants to try something new, this is that change you might you, you know you might be looking for. So this could play a role in an advanced bodybuilding regimen. I mean, it could play a role for somebody who's trying to get in shape. But whatever you do, we want to present to you the one Tim one system in honor. And let me say it again: in honor, the legendary Chuck Sipes. <laughs>